All right, away from hard tackle now. Now, Kenya turned 51 last Friday, and the ceremony came uh, with lots of singing and dancing. But tonight, on Mock the Week, Jerry Mushura tells us why to some people, dancing is not what you or I know as a coordination of movement to some music. She also tells us why we should always listen to our elders. and welcome to Mock the Week. My name is Jerry Muchura and as you can see, I am still sitting in for Wilson Borough who I now understand has left the civil service to join the GSU. Why? Because apparently the GSU are much more fun. Speaking of dancing, it was a week to sing, dance and celebrate Kenya's steady journey into old age as the country marked 51 years of independence which coincidentally also marked the onset of midlife crisis. In fact, this was such an exciting news that the president found himself belting out tunes of joy to his mother country. Until he remembered that singing is not exactly his strongest point. Remember his audition for Project Fame? This is my story. My advice, Mr. President, stick to presidenting. For instance, hmm, well, I think you can do that as well. Which reminds me, this almost sounds like I've heard this before. Yes, it would seem that finally number four had learned from number three on how to make people more attentive to his speeches. Wait a minute. Remember this? Well, that explains everything, doesn't it? Still on the Jamuhuri Day celebrations, there's a region called Embu, and these fellows had a different idea on what the Jamuhuri Day celebrations should be. Yes. On a day when every other Kenyan felt patriotic enough to fight for independence all over again, these fellows in Embu thought it was a good idea to express their displeasure by interrupting the celebrations. It was a good thing though, because we got to see what their governor looks like outside of a courtroom. <laughs> It almost sounds like he's reminding himself what he does for a living. But you know, those hooligans learned this interruption of business from somewhere, right? The MCAs, yes, the MCAs are back and we here on Mock the Week could not be happier because once again, they decided to showcase their maturity at debates. <laughs> Just when we thought these magnificent politicians had finally decided to get to work. Don't tell us the report, we don't want to hear. Whatever that is that they do. They once again reminded us what really is important to them. We are always told that we are a replicant of parliament. Mweshimiwa Mbunge, Mweshimiwa Senator, President Hawes Pewa Kagurand, na sisi ambayo tunafanya, mambo ya tunafanya the same job, we are denied. Calm down, Mr. President. These fellows have a point. Didn't I hear that we are now growing money on trees? Money, money, money. Another thing, the similarities between MCAs and MPs are more than we want to accept. For example, but before we got to that, let me explain how we got here. This guy sent this guys a draft bill on security and said, go ye and pass. Small problem. Not everyone was in the mood to comply, so they started talking loudly. We would also be very w foolish if you hear there's a snake in your house and you light fire in the house with your children and all your relatives in the house. What am I saying? Honorable Speaker, 
we must rise to the occasion. When the talking became tedious, they did what came to them naturally. Thank you so much, MCAs and MPs. Thank you for showing Kenyans that instead of using words to solve problems, it's okay to use your fists. That's a great example to set as leaders. Well done, well done, well done. In fact, we are so happy for you. This is the reaction in our hearts right now. Speaking of happiness... Former Stare MP Margaret Wanjiro decided that the orange in the orange party had become too sour or had been attacked by too many maggots. Either way, she decided that the dove was more likely to offer some much needed peace. Mr. Governor, you are more concerned about developing Nyanza than developing Nairobi. And the moral of the story is, MCAs and MPs, you really need to grow up. This is Jerry Muchura reporting for Mock the Week.